Welcome to Adventures in Geocaching with your host, You Got a Friend in PA. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode Geocaching with You Got a Friend in PA. It's Christmas Eve Eve, the Monday before Christmas, and I'm at a local park where new caches were placed, and I'm just going to try to find me a couple of quick caches today before I have to do all of the holiday stuff later on. I'm near ground zero for cache number one. Let's go get it. Right off the parking lot. Got a pine tree up here. Cache is in the pine tree. Let's see if we can find it. Kind of see it sticking out already. Just got to figure out how to get in there. Uh, here's a clear. Here's the easy way in. <clears throat> Got a container hanging in a tree. I'm going to get it signed. I'm going to put it back. And we'll move on to cache number two. Alright, we are at cache number two area. We have a little footbridge to cross. We got to get to the other side. We got to cross the creek. And let's see if we can find this micro one and a half difficulty, two and a half terrain. Here's the footbridge. Here's upstream, here's downstream, and here's the other side. I think I'm on top of it right now. What's me out here? This can't be right. All right, well, there's a mural on the bridge. But now I'm standing right at where my GPS tells me I'm three feet away, which I know this isn't correct. So my best guess, it's over here under the bridge. Let's go check it out. Somebody has a game camera, it looks like. Give a look here. There is metal. No, nope, nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. Doesn't look like there's anything up there. We'll come underneath the steps here. Move oh, that over here. Nope. Nope. Not seeing anything here. Anything there? Or there? 
Nothing here. Oh, I could be totally off on this one. Let's check under here. I don't see anything under there either. I may have had this one totally wrong. I found it, but not how to get it. It's back here. See it back there. That's where it is. All right. There's obviously only one way to get this cache. You need to come in here. It's over there on the metal. You can't reach it from any other place. And I can't reach it from the thing. That beam's too big for me to get my arm around. That's <laughs> in a ridiculous place, to be honest with you. There we go, magnetic key holder. Underneath, underneath the uh, walkway here for the bridge. I'm gonna sign it and put it back. All right. I got it, I signed it, I put it back where it was. I didn't think I'd be sliding underneath a wooden deck to go get a geocache today. So now I'm dirty, muddy, cause it rained this morning. All well, the overnight hours it rained. It only stopped maybe a half hour ago, so. A little muddy and a little wet. But we got it, I'm not gonna complain. Smiley's the smiley. I'm walking down the trail, 630 feet before the next cache. Let's go get it. I must say, since I've been at this park last, getting some geocaches, it has really changed. Got a disc golf course now. You have trails that are paved. There's a new pavilion that was added down here. You have trails now, now that go through the woods. You never had that before. So uh, yeah, this park has has really come along. It's a shame that nobody put a geocache up there in the rocks. Some nice big rocks up there. It looks like that would be a nice difficult area to go geocaching in. But they're down here along the trail. I remember as a teenager coming here and this park being underwater. The whole entire thing being underwater. You get some really bad rains. This creek and all these fields I already seen covered with water all the way. All right, I'm in the area of ground zero. I'm gonna go check this tree out up here with the hole in it. Because if I was gonna hide something somewhere here, that's where I would be. Even though my GPS doesn't bring me here, that's where I would definitely hide something though. What we got here? Well, nothing in there. 
I'm 14 feet with my GPS says. Well, like I said, if I was gonna hide something, this is where it would be. I don't really see anything. Tree is pretty nice and hollow. Got a rock back here. Uh, uh, gotta check it though. I'm really not seeing anything in here. Maybe I'm a little off. What's this little thing here? That looks a little weird, huh? No, it's an actual rock. Just looks a little weird the way it's placed. Don't see nothing tucked up in there. I don't see anything in there. Looks like a lot of hiding spots up there. rock just in here or is it hiding something no, it's just in there it does wobble that's about it uh, what's back here uh, nothing there my first instinct wasn't correct not the hole in the tree but then I came over to this rock face right here. And this rock here had me intrigued. But all I had to do, I made my life a little harder. All I had to do was move this down here. And right here is the container. And I was looking up over here. I was looking up in that tree over there uh, because of the name and there's a few items up there that the name refers to so that's where I started looking but I'm like eh, this ain't a one and a half terrain so came back to the wall searched in the crevices a little bit more made to find pill bottle with snake camouflage tape now I'm gonna sign it put it back and move on Okay, cache number three, done. Time to start working towards cache number four. Looks like we're gonna be straight ahead, 746 feet. Now I believe the paved trail is gonna end because it starts going up the hill here. And around a bend and we need to go straight ahead this way and that's where we're gonna go cash number four ground zero I'm not gonna lie I spent a lot of time here searching my GPS has me by this tree by this embankment and by these two trees over here. Now, this is a micro, one and a half difficulty, one and a half terrain. So I knew I did not need to go down here. I was hoping, I was right. So when I first walked up that tree, this, these two trees, we're ground zero. Searched, and I searched. I searched quite a few times thinking about the cache name and where it could be hidden. So what did I do? 
walked away. Walked away, made sure my GPS was set up, got a good reading. I got it down to plus or minus 16 feet. Walked back in. The arrow pointed away from here and started pointing towards here. So right around here, it told me I was about six feet away, but I'm plus or minus 16 feet. These are the problems that we have when we geocache in the woods. So my first instinct is, well, I didn't find nothing back there. Let me check here. So I come up and I'm like, huh, look under the log. What do we have here? We have a stick. Looks oddly placed. So, pull it out slowly. Bingo! Geocache. Like I said, this one took a bit. Only because of the GPS. But I used my geosenses. I used the information that I had. From the cache owner. About it being a 1-1. One, one, so I didn't have to go down the muddy, slick wet hill and I made the find by using my brain now I'm gonna sign it and move on all right cash number five we're right here I'm 30 feet away somewhere here this is what we got in here oh you know what I was thinking maybe a parking block or something but look up in the top of that sign, there's a little thing up there. This is a micro one and a half, one and a half. If I see something sticking out, I'm gonna stand up on here. Oh. We got ourselves a bison tube sticking out of the top here. Cool. I got a sign, time to put it back. Brought you five quick geocaches today on Christmas Eve Eve. Made some quick finds. Some others took a lot longer. But the sun's going down. Time to head home. Got things to do. Got a holiday to get prepared for. But thanks for joining me on this episode of Geocaching with You Got a Friend in PA. Merry Christmas, everyone. And as always, happy trails, happy caching, and go get yourself a smiley.